Now, the big news, obviously, this is from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. The all-out fallout edition of AEW Dynamite averaged 1.319 million viewers on TNT, up 26% from the previous week, the second highest audience in the history of the show, trailing only the series premiere from October of 2019 and 18 to 49 demo. Dynamite drew a 0.52 rating, up 40.5% from last week. Dynamite beat this week's Raw in 18 to 49. And for those of you that don't know what that means, because people get mad about demos and they go, who cares about the demos? It's about viewership. Well, the demo number is about the viewership. Viewers between the ages of 18 to 49, which is a large span, viewers between the ages of 18 to 49, Dynamite had 681,000 viewers, and Raw had 678,000 viewers. So in terms of viewers between the ages of 18 to 49, Dynamite had more viewers than Monday Night Raw. Now, obviously, the total viewership of Raw was higher because they have a gigantic audience over 50. That should tell you how big the audience is, I should add. Here's the thing about this show, by the way. And granted, to be to be completely fair, I think a lot of people did tune in and watch the whole show waiting for Brian Danielson and Adam Cole and CM Punk. But it was interesting because CM Punk was on this show and he was in the second lowest rated quarter of the entire show, CM Punk. The only thing that was lower rated, or lower viewed, was the powerhouse Hobbs Dante Martin match. That was the lowest, that was the least watched segment on the show. The second least watched segment involved CM Punk. The most watched was, of course, the uh, elite Brian Danielson, Adam Cole. Brandon Thurston had the quarters, and uh, that thing. That segment did 1.5 million viewers. And even more notably, that 1.5 million viewers was in the 930 to 945 quarter. You guys ever normally look at that quarter? That quarter is usually dead. Well, it was the highest rated thing on the show. So essentially what I'm saying here is that AEW is doing very well with their own homegrown talent. It is not like their homegrown talent did a million, and then Punk did 1.5, and then they went back to a million, and then Brian Danielson and Adam Cole did 1.5, and then they went back to normal again. If you if you subtract CM Punk and the segment that did 1.5 million viewers with Adam Cole and The Elite and Brian Danielson, that show is still doing about 1.3, uh, one point, probably 1.25 uh, million viewers just with the homegrown AEW talent. So we'll see. I, I would be surprised if it were this high next week, but we'll see. That's a huge number. And then for All Out on Sunday, and keep in mind, uh, don't think that this is like a final number because the way that the, the buy rate situation works, and this is still in 2021, if you, if you have cable and you bought this show on cable, okay, your cable provider, you do whatever, I don't have cable, so I don't know how it works. But many people still order through their cable provider. It is going to be months, months before AEW gets those final numbers. So this is an estimate based on everything they did with Fight and uh, BR. Uh, 200,000 buys, which is the all-time record for AEW, probably by about 50,000 buys. I think the the previous record was maybe 140, 150. I don't have the exact number, but... Uh, they did significantly higher than that for this this pay-per-view here. This pay-per-view that, like, four weeks ago when they took out uh, Hangman, people were saying they weren't very excited about. Now well, it turns out people were excited the day of the show. So 200,000 buys for the pay-per-view. They made a lot of money, a lot of money on that show, and then followed it up with a great number for Dynamite. So looks to me like it appears that tide is kind of turning, I think.
Well, they, they certainly spent a bunch of money on their payroll to bring in CM Punk and Brian Danielson and Ruby Soho and Minoru Suzuki for a night and Adam Cole. So hopefully they're making some money. They got to they gotta make a little of that back up. Talked about CM Punk being in the lowest rated segment. That segment was still 1.2 million viewers, which is a certainly been the high water mark. 1.199, I believe, is what Brandon actually had there. So it was a really good night. They were red hot going into it. It felt, even though it was a busy show that we talked about, there were some timing issues, it felt like, obviously. Uh, bottom line is, is they've been red hot. And they were red hot coming out of that pay-per-view that weekend was highly talked about by wrestling fans as being a positive so they are as hot as they can be right now and i don't think the number is going to be as good as it was this week it just feels as though it's natural that they would have a little bit of a come down next week but do you stay over a million i think you can confidently say right now that that's a pretty darn good bet uh it's just a matter of how much over that million that they stay and how consistent they stay throughout the show so it's been a great week i mean it's been a last great couple of weeks for AEW and they seem to be continuing that on i should add by the way that uh 200,000 is a low end estimate the yeah. the number is likely going to end up significantly i shouldn't say significant it's going to be like 400,000 but it could very easily be 230,000 250,000 i mean it was a gigantic home run pay-per-view number for AEW i have listened to this noise like 300 times in a row dying laughing and i may go do that after the show is over because this noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. (laughs) What? It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I can do it one more time. <laughs> It allowed them to produce a single sound. The top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, ah! If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.